everybody! In this video I'm going to show you my missions to Mars. As you can currently see, my first probe is already arriving to Red Planet. It is the first orbiter that managed to reach stable orbit around there. Its mission is to get the basic scientific data and to create the ultimate tree map of the surface. The satellite has performed first capture burn. It allowed to reach highly elliptical orbit. Now, after reaching the apoapsis, another maneuver is performed to cheaply change the inclination to polar. Finally, the probe makes third, final capture burn to reach desired low motion orbit. It will allow scanners to perform a scan in optimal conditions. Unfortunately, I have miscalculated the energy demand of the scanner and antenna, so the probe had to regularly hibernate and wait to recharge batteries. It made scanning quite ineffective, so this part of the mission was summarized as failure. And I have decided to turn off the altimetry radar and to use the saved electricity to power other scientific instruments. Over one year later, another probe of the Ares project is being launched towards Mars. This design was much more advanced and thought through so no problems were anticipated this time. The launch was flawless, as the Golan Gremlin rocket is a well-proven and tested design. But uh, right after reaching orbit, the myth of good project was quickly shattered. When I've realized that the craft is 200 kilograms too heavy to be fully controlled by the avionics unit. To save the mission, I've decided to fire the engine to burn some propellant. Luckily, it worked. I've regained full control, and the stage could perform the TMI. Transmartian burn went perfectly, so the mission could continue without further problems. At least until another staging. As surprise surprise, the avionic was not enough. This time the craft was 96 kg too heavy. I knew the drill already, so I fired the engines to burn some more propellant. The craft went into a spin as the center of mass was not perfectly in line with the center of thrust. It wasn't that terrible, and after burning through 96 kg of Iorzin 50 and NTO and regaining control, RCS thrusters stabilized the craft and oriented it to perform the correction burn. Finally on the right course. Probe has activated the scientific equipment and extended huge solar panels that should generate enough electricity for all the needs. Before entering hibernation, solar panels were aligned towards the sun to keep the batteries fully charged. Two hundred seventy-six days later, Probe has reached sphere of influence of Mars and I've plotted the maneuver to get polar inclination right away. The main propulsion of the injection stage generated only several kilonewtons of thrust, so the capture burn took over 20 minutes. to take 20 minutes. 
but I've decided to end it a bit earlier and to burn once again your periapsis to make the maneuver a bit more efficient and precise. Finally in low margin orbit. Now it's time to prepare to dispatch the atmospheric probe that is attached to the injection stage. I have used a very similar design of the orbiter and the probe for my successful Venus mission. I have lowered periapsis, oriented the craft and separated the probe. And then quickly fired the engine to raise the orbit again. The probe is equipped with some scientific sensors and uh, its task was to explore upper and lower atmosphere of Mars. Soft landing was not part of the mission, but if it would survive, it would be a bonus. Unfortunately, the probe hit the ground with the speed over 12 meters per second and it broke on impact. Nevertheless, it has gathered some valuable data that it was transmitted to Orbiter and then further to Earth. Talking about the Orbiter, it has settled in stable orbit so the injection stage was not needed anymore and could be finally jettisoned. Altimetry and visual scanners were turned on and it will take several more months to complete the scan. Next plans for the Red Planet exploration is to send a proper lander that will examine the surface and I also want to send a probe that will explore Martian moons, Phobos and Deimos. That would be all for today. Thank you everyone for watching, please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and see you again in my next video.